it's Simply Duck Designs here and today I'm back with another craft update. I really wanted to get one of these done. I have not done it in so long because I haven't been feeling very well lately so I haven't had a lot of crafts to show you guys so I decided to kind of look through and see what I had to show you guys because I accidentally posted some on Instagram and then forgot to make my last update video so I'm not really sure what I showed you guys. But I finally made some things and I have a few older things that I can show you guys now. So I'm just going to get started with the bifold that I made. This bifold I actually just got done a few days ago when I was starting to feel better. It is a Phineas and Ferb bifold. I actually got a really good deal for this tape on Amazon. It was about three something instead of, you know, like $9 at Michael's. And it's all lined up, which I think looks really cool. Then there's just two card pockets up here, a V shape, a card pocket here, and then the ID, and then of course two hiddens, and then a aqua billfold. So I really love this. If you guys would like to order this wallet, it will be for sale. All the prices will be listed in the description. Next I have three bow pins to show you guys. First I have this bow pin, which I believe is the one that I made in my bow pin tutorial. It's just zebra and black. Then I made this one, which is all paw print. And then I made this one, which is a Baltimore Ravens pin. Yuck, but I had to make them because I thought I was going to be in a craft show, but I actually didn't get to do it, which is really disappointing, but I was making all these Ravens things for sale, and now I'm stuck with Ravens wallets and pins and everything when I don't like the Ravens, so I'm gonna try to sell these as soon as possible. I also just have these two bows that I haven't put on a pin yet. I have this paw print bow outlined in teal. Then I have this little tiny paw print bow. I was doing a whole roll challenge, which I can't find the rest of my whole roll challenge. I have a few things in here with the paw print, but I can't find where I put the women's wallet that I made, which is a bummer. But this was what I got out of the little bit of tape that I had left. So moving on, now I have my ruffle coin pouch. I made two of these. I made this graphic swirls and pastel yellow ruffle coin pouch, and I think it's a really cute color combo and then Ziploc coin pouch, and it's all clear taped on the inside. Then I made this Phineas and Ferb ruffle coin pouch, which I think I'm going to do a whole roll challenge for the Phineas and Ferb tape as well. I still have plenty left over to make a few things, but it is the Phineas and Ferb tape and teal once again. As you can see, this is the tape that I really like to use with this. And then it's a Ziploc coin pouch with teal on the inside. Now I have this graphic swirls and black and white women's wallet. It is all lined up to the best of my ability. And on the inside is my basic layout. There are four card pockets here, and then there are two hiddens. And then the same on this side with two billfolds. One here, and one here. Okay, so I had to clear out the rest of my crafts because the next thing I have is a little big. So I have this paw print and teal crossbody bag and I really like this. I think it turned out really cute and it's just this regular crossbody bag. It's got a pouch right here. As you can see, it's paw print on the inside and teal on the outside and then it's paw print all through here and then there's just the purse section which is just teal. So that's my latest craft update guys. I really hope you like everything that I made. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, and like I said, I will list the prices in the description if I remember to. If you're interested in ordering anything, you can always email me at simplyduckdesigns at gmail.com. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye, guys!